Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your July 2017 general reading. Whatever's meant to come up will come up, and I haven't even decided who I'm going to do it for yet. I have three signs left, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Um, I saved the air signs for last, I don't know why. Um, I never choose, I never have a specific uh, order, whatever I feel like doing. Or whoever gets the most amount of bookings or whoever gets the most amount of comments, you know, I might do that sometimes too. But anyway, this reading for July 2017 is going to be for Gemini. This is going to be for Gemini. I'm going to put the phone, the phone. I'm going to put the phone down. The uh, camera. <laughs> it's funny. I'm going to put the phone down. Because you know that's what people have to do. Maybe you have to put the phone down, Gemini. Where did that come from? That's funny. Put the phone down. I don't know. Take it. Take it how it is. That came out. This is for Gemini. July 2017. What do you have for Gemini? It's raining out now. The other night I did a one and it, we had thunder and everything. We'll see what happens for you. Oh, something wanted to be said. Time to start something new. A major life lesson has ended. Okay, you've learned something. Perhaps you graduated from college or, you know, you just um, moved out of your parents' house or you've started a new business and or you've uh, retired or you quit a job after 10 years. Um, it's a major life project, okay, that has been completed and you're moving on to a new one. And I consider it a life lesson. You've learned one lesson and now it's time to move on to the next new forward path something has ended and it's divine this new path it was meant to be <laughs> yeah there you are there you are Gemini this new path probably um, involves another person that um, comes in unexpectedly Perhaps there's been some um, serious, serious hurt in the past. Maybe with the, one of these people. Your soul partner. One of these is you. Because this is, represents you. The Gemini. Uh, this card. The lover's card. So one of these is you. And one of them is the other person. And, par and this is serious, serious hurt. Betrayal. Um, stabbed in the back. You know, hurt deeply. Probably from one of these people. What, the other person. <laughs> oh, it could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. Okay. And here we have your uh, secrets or using your intuition and um, resisting, being too frivolous with your money. Um, not wanting to give, not wanting to share. Perhaps they didn't want to share theirs. They didn't want to share their security and abundance. It's right there next to them. Could be the other person standing beside you here. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. <sighs> but, you know, there's a lot of... Um, 
thoughts about this, okay? Um, there's a lot going on. Um, and I think that I think that you're you are seeing a situation differently now. Okay, you have opened up to something and perhaps you're you're seeing a situation differently or they are seeing a situation differently. Okay? They've changed their thoughts. That's what I see. Somebody has changed their thoughts. And it's either you or this other or it's both of you. And perhaps you've both been hurt and you both, you know, have been lost with I don't know. This is a, you know, near death betrayal. You've been defeated. You can't go anywhere up else but up. Broken. Broken. Okay. But it's the end of that, okay? It's that's the it's the end of it. This is July. And this isn't intended to be a love reading. <laughs> This is intended to be a general reading, but I've had a few love readings come up. Only a few. So if you are so lucky, congratulations. It could have something to do with work. So, Gemini, there's definitely a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that offers security and stability, okay? So, probably they're in your life. It's a man or a woman, or you're thinking about them, or they've hurt you in the past, okay? Um, but you're still thinking about it, you know? And, and perhaps there was some um, illusion in the relationship, okay? Or pretending, per se. Pretending. Oh, maybe somebody chose uh, possessions, a stability, security over love. Because here up here, somebody's resisting sharing. It, they're holding on to what they have. They don't want to share it. They don't want to. They're holding on to it. Okay. And they, you know, they've been, they, they've been persistent about it. Persistent. Okay, they chose the goods instead of the love. And by ch saying I chose the goods, they chose to not be there for you. Perhaps they put more time into their work, or they put more time into something else, or... Um, they didn't... They Their focus wasn't on... Um, True love, put it that way. It wasn't on love. Um, that could be you or that could be a, the other person. But I think there's some clear thinking in your head at this time, so whatever it is, um, trust it. Whatever's going on up there, trust it. Um, let's get a couple more and then we'll break this down into weeks. So the first week of July, it looks like you are starting your new journey, all right? You are. You're starting a new path. Perhaps you've left something behind that has practically killed you, all right? And now you're, you're you know, you're looking for your soulmate. You're like, you know what? I've had it. This is, a, this is an unexpected choice in love, okay? So, um, and it's also you, Gemini. And it's you with somebody else. So if you are single then you're looking. If you are coupled, then you're taking this journey with the person that's your that's your soulmate. Um, but this right here, there's been some serious, serious um, betrayal. And this person that could standing beside you, because this card represents you, is probably a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Steady, um good planner, knows what he's talking about, um, doesn't just rush in, doesn't do things foolishly, um, 
takes his time and he's he's secure he is secure this person also holds on to their money okay this person holds on to their money and they follow their intuition and I think you do too okay the second week it looks like you're you're still heading in a good direction. You're headed to a calmer spot. Alright? That's part of your ending right here. Okay? You ended something and now you're moving away from the trouble. Okay? You've ended something. Um, you've released some burdens. Okay? You've released some things. Now this could be in work or, or love. So this could be a work related right here. Um... The second week, you're moving to to a calmer position, whether it's in work or in love. You're mo mo I don't know if I've told you guys, but when I do these readings, I cannot speak for nothing. And I don't know if it's because I want to talk so fast or what it is, but it's like, blah, 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 and whatever comes out, doesn't. So that's what happens. I don't know. Maybe I'm hearing too much. But anyway, and I do think that's part of it. I do hear a lot. I'm trying to get it into words, and it's like, woo. So anyway, um, you're moving. You're moving forward to a calmer place, okay, whether it's in work or in within, with yourself, okay? All right, you're moving to a calmer spot, okay? And then there's some kind of um, collaboration. This is the second week now. You, the first day of the second week, you've moved to a calmer spot. Could be at work, could be at, in love, could be within yourself. You know, instead of feeling all uh, anxious, you could be feeling calmer. I think you've had a little bit of anxiousness. I just feel that. Um, so here, um, the second day, you're talking about something. You're collaborating with somebody. Um, and you're talking probably about this other love, okay? Or this this... There's two people here, and this is love, you know. Could could be this person, the Taurus, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo, and here you are. So that makes sense. This is true. This is true. The soulmate is probably a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have it here. We have it here, and it's connected to you. This is your lineup, and these are soulmates, okay? Maybe there's going to be some communication the second week. The beginning of the second week, there's going to be some communication, perhaps. Okay. Look at this. Two tens. Completions. Moving on to a more um, secure, abundant home life. That's what this is. Moving away from near-death situation. Moving away from struggle to abundance. Okay. That's what this is. Completely away from it to a ten. There's no the next number is a one starting over again. You know, in a better direction. Hopefully. <laughs> um, so by the but you're still resisting it. You're still um, I don't know. You're still not quite sure. Okay. You're not quite sure about this person. You know, because perhaps they haven't, um, I don't know. If it's somebody you know, they don't really want to share with you. I mean, they don't mind sharing the bed with you. <laughs> That's fine. But they don't really feel like, uh, you know, sharing their goods. Some of them maybe, but not everything. Oh, absolutely, that's the case. Alright, so, um, but you're definitely thinking about it. Definitely, definitely, definitely thinking about it. This is a new discovery, okay? This is a new discovery. Could be a new partner, a new sexual partner, okay? Um, this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it looks like there's, but we won't even, we're not going there yet. See, I try to talk too fast. Um... This is a new discovery, and you know about it. It's, it's not like it's hidden. It's a secret. You know what this is. You do. I think there's another person, a fire sign. Okay. But this is conflicts, just so you know. And that's what I wanted to say earlier. There's conflicts with this person.
Perhaps this person has done the uh, backstabbing. Because see, they're connected. to This is conflicts with this person. And that's connected to the backstabbing. This person is connected to security and abundance. Big time. And this person is connected to you. See? This person is connected to you. This person is... Um, Maybe you're moving away from them because this is the wheel spinning and it's the end of the end of the month. The wheel has spun and you have decided you need three tens. This is big, big, big major completions in your life. Okay? Things are changing and they're gonna happen pretty fast, one right after another, and you're taking a new life journey, a brand new one. It's a new life experience on the horizon. There's no doubt about it. And it starts at the beginning of July. Okay? And throughout the month, you are taking that journey. Alright? You're going to be releasing some burdens. Okay? And <clears throat> they're four tens. Damn it all. Here's another one. You got, them. you got them all. Right? I mean, we got one, two, three, four. The only one we don't have is the cups. The ten of cups happily ever after. That's the only one we don't have. And this one's the last card in the deck. I mean, so major, major, major life change for you. Major. Okay, major direct change, direction, change of direction. Okay, major change of direction. Okay, completely letting go of a lot. These are letting go. Letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. You're letting go. Absolutely. You're letting go. There's no doubt about it. Because you've, you've been like, felt like this, backstabbed, near death, hurt. Like near death. Okay. Then, perhaps... This option has always been here. This option has been here, but you haven't considered it. Okay. Look at it. This is your earth sign person who's secure and stable and has a offers a happy home life. They are touching you. They are with this soulmate thing. Lovers. I say thing. I say whatever comes out of my mouth. And if you don't like it, keep it to yourself because I'm going to delete your comment if I don't like it. Anyway, that's the truth. No bullshit here. So, um, the truth is going to come out, okay? You're going to speak your truth, all right? You are. Perhaps you're going to consider this. This is the last week of the month. Perhaps you're, you know, you might open your eyes and accept the cup. Accept the love. You know, you might decide to accept it. You know, and I'm not, I'm saying you accept the fact that this could, could be love. You know, um, this is you being true to yourself, speaking your mind, communicating. Okay, there's been some conflicts probably with this person. And with um, possessions, money, addictions, perhaps, there's been some conflicts. <laughs> but you're, you know, you have major completions at the beginning, and it's through the whole month. The whole month is a complete, what's the word for it, um, roller coaster. I mean, you're just, woo. You are moving and you're changing and you're rolling with it. All right? And it's big. I think the month is going to be big for you. It starts at the beginning of the month. Okay? And you really start to... I mean, this unexpected love right here. This is an unexpected choice in love. That you probably said, I would never go back. Or I would never do that. Or I never had any interest in that person. <laughs> Have I ever told you, Gemini? I may have. Don't ever say never. Never say never. Doesn't that sound like contradictive or something? But anyhow, don't say it. Because when you say it, <laughs> it means nothing. It means nothing. 
because the universe drives and this is the universe driving and bringing never to your face okay they're bringing ne never and they're sticking it right in your face and man it looks like chocolate cake okay <laughs> it looks like what your favorite whatever it's a freaking Porsche in your face okay that's what this is it's like oh my god I don't think I can walk away from this and you can't that's what this is so that's gonna be conspiring the first week of July okay and throughout the month it's gonna keep going going and going and going and going and if it doesn't happen exactly this first week okay then it's gonna ha it either how it has happened or it's going to happen okay or your free will plays the biggest part in this reading it does if it doesn't happen then you didn't want it to happen okay you didn't I mean, if you don't want it to happen, it's not going to happen. You can stop it from happening any minute. Just by setting your vibration, setting your tone. It's all up to you. But it definitely could happen. I mean, you be ready for it. If that's what you want, you open yourself up to it. And it is going to come flying right in. Like a freaking, I don't know what you call those things turkey vultures that swoop, swoop down and grab the dead animal. <laughs> I'm a country girl. <laughs> Obviously. We're going to try to get some clarifiers here. Sounds like fun, doesn't it, Gemini? You guys dancing in your seats or what? jumped and flipped. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely. I don't know if you can see it. It's starting to get dark. Can you hear the rain outside? Falling in love. <laughs> or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions and an invitation to a social event. This is Prince Charming or Princess of whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a prince or a princess and she's a dream come true at the end of the fairy tale book. Perhaps you don't, you haven't, you've been missing, the, missing it. Okay, don't, you know, perhaps you've been missing it. Or perhaps this is saying it's going to be that lovely. It's going to be that dreamy. second, third week, you know, you may be starting to fall in love. Or it could be even more than that. It looks like it's with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo connected to you again. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But I don't think so. But could be. Two of Pentacles, too much going on at once. Like I said, it's a roller coaster. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I said a little bit of anxious energy. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Let me out. Six of Swords. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. That's at the end of... Um, I'd say it's at the end of the second week second or third week or whenever it comes into play um, because you're following your heart and you're following your in intuition and you're you're letting the wheel spin things do start to look up I mean of course you got it twice right here so it's definitely the second week that just confirmed that the se by the from the beginning of the second week to the end of the second week things are starting to look better 
okay? There's still chaos, though. Too much going on at once. The need to make a decision <laughs> about this person, maybe? Or the conflicts that are going on? Maybe you need to make a decision about some of that. Looks like you got major, major changes happening this month. Big life change. I mean, life lesson change. You've learned a major lesson, or you've you've done a major life journey, and now it's time to start on another one. Okay, one chapter is closed. More than one, several chapters are closing, and new ones are open. New ones are happening. I mean, you have it right here and right here. It's beautiful, really. And you've earned it. Oh, that one just wanted to fly. It's a good one. We've already talked about this. It's the Three of Cups. A celebration, a wedding, graduation, a birth announcement. It's it's what you get from falling in love. <laughs> Goes right there, right with this pile up. Six of Pentacles. Gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. Like I said, this there is an aspect. This could be a lot about career. All right. Maybe somebody has been holding on to their money and maybe finally they're going to give it to you. Wouldn't that be a blessing? And that should end the conflicts. And then maybe you guys can move in a new direction. And that's the third week. Third to fourth week. Maybe there's been conflicts at work, but they're going to be over with, and um, you might receive another opportunity at work. You never know. Things are looking up either way. You're going to feel very good. Yep, on top of the world. Like I said, let me out. Let me go. I'm ready. <laughs> and it's gonna just enhance with every single day. You know, that's what the that's what the crazy part is. It's like whew, by the end of the month you'll probably be ready to explode. Um Anything else for Gemini? I see movement. Movement, movement, movement. Big time. Endings and new beginnings. And you know, there's some kind of... Uh, something's going to be thrown in your face regarding love. And it's a never situation. We already talked about that. It's a never, never, never. Uh-uh, no way, not happening. Okay. Should have never said that. <laughs> Be confident, courageous, adventurous. That's the message. That's what he brings. Confidence, courage, adventure. Leaving something behind. Okay. Now you're leaving something behind. Some kind of love to, to go. Is that one of your completions? That you're leaving some kind of love behind? Are you trying to escape from something? Something at work, perhaps? Perhaps you are going to escape from something because here things start to look up and you get, you 
you know, you feel good with you getting a gift of money or a raise or who knows what. And you're moving to a nice, calm situation. So that's what that is. You're escaping a difficult situation, whether it's at work or in love. Somebody is escaping a difficult situation. It could be either they've been wounded by this person. A fire sign? I don't know. Could be, because conflicts could be with a fire sign. I don't know. One more. One more thing for Gemini. One more card. Ah, maybe we'll get one romance card, too, just for the heck of it. Just a just because mm. thank you to all my watchers bookers and um, subscribers and everybody I mean I really really appreciate it you guys have kept me busy if you want a reading um, please email me. It's better than a Facebook message because I can get all my information right there. In my emails and I have to go here and here and here and here and here and here and here. Uh, so yeah, just send me an email. Last card for Gemini. Oh. What do you think that card means anyway? I mean, what do you think it means? It means it's a time of recuperation. It's a time of healing, all right? It's a time of taking care of yourself, going with going and taking some time and just maybe even meditating. just to, you're going to need it. You're going to need a time of recuperation because it's going to be so crazy. That's why this one came out. I shuffled and I talked and it's like recuperation. Yes, absolutely. Like I said a little while ago about exploding, there's definitely, absolutely, you're going to need some time to heal yourself. You know, and whether it's over uh, love or work or whatever, you always need to recuperate and get over it. And you need time to do that. It takes time to do that. Okay? This, here's all the chaos. There's so much going on right here with this card going on in your life towards the middle of the month. Okay? Second to third week. You're going to need time to just <laughs> take a break and breathe. Breathe. That's what it says, and I totally agree. So, Gemini, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to end it, but we're going to do one of these. What do you have for Gemini regarding love? What do you have for Gemini regarding love? You ask, have faith in what? The trust, the trust, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Faith in yourself. Faith, faith in yourself. Faith that you know. Okay, you do. Your intuition knows. Trust it. Trust your journey. Trust your path. Maybe you need to trust this person and yourself. 
I was only going to get one card. Here I am shuffling again. Alright, this is it. Oh, Jesus. I should have stopped there. God. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I know who it is. Could be a fire sign. All right, you see, it goes right here. The card was right here. It could be a fire sign. Uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Okay, or it could be you. You know, if it's not what you want and you're stuck there, you're wearing the mask. If it's not what they want and they've there's been some conflicts or who knows what. Then they're wearing the mask. Somebody, and it's over here. It's over here, this card. Somebody's wearing a false self mask. And they might, you might be walking away. Somebody's walking away. Or escaping, per se. But you're on, <laughs> throughout the whole month, okay, you're completing things. One thing right after another. You're, it's like you have many goals, and it's like, boom, 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 check. That one's done, check. Alright, that's what's going on. And this is a, is a major life change as well. The, something big has ended. And you're, it's a new life experience. A new chapter. A new door is opening. And that is what I have for you, Gemini. I, I can't. I don't believe that I can say anything else other than what I've already said. And, um, yeah. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, thanks.